Hi, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. If you're not already subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe and become part of our Yarny Fun. So I like to start with the question of the day and today's question of the day is, if you could make the world's biggest food fight, what food would you have? I thought that was kind of a funny question. Um, I think it would be pretty hilarious personally to have pudding and just, uh, <laughs> it's slippery, it's messy. Um, so if you're gonna have a huge food fight and get all messy, you may as well have pudding there. <laughs> I'd be curious to see what you come up with because I'm sure there's some really good stuff out there to put for this and for different reasons. Well, welcome. Today is our Things We're Making Thursday. It's a collab and the people in this collab, I'm just getting my notes so I don't forget anybody. It's not that I don't know these people. I just don't want to forget somebody. I get nervous sometimes when I'm talking. So Darla from It's In The Bag Crochet with Darla is in this. Jess from J Hook Magic. Jenna from Jenna Stitches. Erin from Crafting Kitty. Tiffany from CMM Designs and Brandy from Bee's Crafty Corner. Now she won't be doing a video this week because she unfortunately had a, um unexpected death in her family. So we're wishing her well wishes and our thoughts are with you. Um, but she, I'll list her in my, just all of them are listed in my description, but I'll put her in the description as well. And if you wanna head over to her and, um, you know, wish her well. I don't know any more details than that. I, I assume she'll let us know what's going on when she comes back. But uh, the what, what Things We're Making Thursday is, it's where the group of us are going to make a different pat, free pattern each month. We're starting with Yarnspirations, but they might not all be from Yarnspirations. And we'll work on that pattern for the month and then we'll show our progress each week and then at the end of the month we'll show you our finished product and if anybody would like to send in pictures if you don't have a station you can send pictures to any of us uh, and we can show them in our updates whether you just want to send it at the end of finished product that's fine or if you want to show us your project your your progress along the way that would be great as well and then the, on the last week of the last things we're making Thursday of the month, we'll show our finished projects and then we will introduce the new pattern and you're welcome to join us for next month. You, you can pop in and out throughout the year depending on whether you have time or um, the interest in doing what we've picked. And so for this month, we decided to do something that could be ready for Valentine's Day. And it's called the Heart Throb Blanket. It looks like this. It has the word love on it. You can see all the dots because on the back is the graph. And so I've been marking where I am because I don't want to skip anything. <laughs> it would be really easy to make a mistake in this. And I'm just trying to be careful and make sure that I'm following it and I don't have to rip anything out. And I think this would be a really cute blanket for, for um, Valentine's Day. Did I say Valentine's Day? I hope I did before. But I decided to use the colors that were listed in the pattern to use, but not all of the people in our collaboration are doing that or choosing to do that. Some have chosen their own colors. So make sure you check them out so you can see how the blanket is turning out for them. Uh, but let me show you my progress. I was trying really hard to get to the halfway mark since we are now two-fourths of the, of the Thursdays through the month. But I was not able to quite get there. Uh, there are 114 rows and then a trim that goes around it. And I am on row, I just completed row 49, so I would be starting row 50. So I'm not quite at half, but pretty close. And I think I'll be able to catch up because I want to make sure that I get this done by the end of the month. But it's kind of fun because now you can start. Let me see if I can really get it to show here. Um, I don't have it. Oh, here it is. Here's the right way. You can see the E right here. 
and then the V, this is the V. There's not much on the bottom, it's just the same color on the bottom. It hasn't changed yet over here. But at the top, it starts introducing the other pink. So you can kind of see from the pattern where I am on the E side. I'm going to also list the pattern in the description in case you were interested in making it. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me for Things We're Making Thursday and keeping updated on our progress. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.